Hi, my name is Mario Sebastian and I will be presenting my project for this semester. So a short brief about this project is that we are tasked to create an architectural concept or propose a typology that where we propagate the plant through architecture and through that plant we create an architectural ideas to come up with a new system or a type a new typology. So in my case I chose Pandanus tectorius or screw pine or in Tagalog pandan. It's not like the pandan that we use in food but it's a different kind of species. So I chose this plant because of its produce. So its main product is bayong which is a traditional bag or basket that you use when you go to a market traditionally. So I will be showing you some like information about the plant so just feel free to pause the video if you want to read the information but I will just summarize it so basically in this sheet it just shows like some information what it needs and its anatomy. So another reason why I chose this plant because it can adapt to an extraordinary wide range of coastal soil. So basically this plant can survive a near site coastal area or environment. So because you know like a, just a typical plant it really can't survive like a, an, an environment near sea because you know the soil, the humid contains salt. So yeah, but this plant can tolerate that kind of environment. And also, this plant can grow up to 8 meters long. But this is a slow growing plant so it would take like 13 to 15 years to reach that 8 meter height. And also, its leaves are kind of long so it can grow up to 3 meters long and the leaves is the part that you use in creating biome. For the harvesting, you can start to harvest this plant, its leaves at its juvenile phase, like 3 years old, but you can only harvest like 5 to 6 leaves per month because, you know, again, it's a slow growing plant so it needs like a healing time, I guess. To have like a new leaves and and you know harvest it again so my project is located at Paranaque and it's beside a fish port so I'll be showing you the macro site so in this site this is located at Paranaque at Barangay La Huerta so I'll just zoom in here this is the Bulungan or the Paranaque fish port so I think the only downside of this site is that you can only access this in here. Like it only has like a one access road. That's the only downside that I can think. But I think I, I, I chose this site because I find it interesting to, you know, create a typology near a fish port because, you know, you need to use what you have in your environment to create an idea. So this is the zoning, so most of the buildings here are residential and the institutional are mostly schools. So this is school, 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 and school, and this one is a church, and uh, the others are, you know, an institutional and some commercial area. So these are the road networks, so this is like the road going to Cavitex, this one is like Kirino Avenue. And, yeah, and this one is the Sukat Road. And there is an ongoing construction, LRT Line 1. So this is the figure ground map. So yeah, just take time and appreciate it. Wow. So next is the microsite. So this is the vicinity map. So this is my lot. It's 600 square meter. So it's around 20 by 30 meters. So it's beside Paranaque Paranaque's fish port. So yeah. But currently my site is like the temporary fish port because this area is I think under renovation or yeah but it's under construction. So the last time I visited this is yeah this is where 
the fish port is located but it's not like a permanent building they just put like a tent and small barracks there and uh, so this is the sand pot so it's just you know typical sand pot east to west this one is the wind pot so this is where the Amihan will be coming from Habagat and sea breeze so even though you know sea breeze looks cool in this site Seabreeze doesn't, it's you know, it's Manila Bay, so the smell is not really that good. So, here is the zoning. So, this is like residential, but basically, these are just some small sari sari stores and also like small house and the uh, Paranaque fish port. So, this is the vehicular circulation in this part it's a two-way but it's a small road so yeah so in this area so that traffic flow here is very like low traffic because it's like the real regal regal road that will lead you to Cavitex and going out opposite side of going to Cavitex I'm so sorry <laughs> so again figure ground map so vegetation so this is just like an eyeball from google earth so this is not really precise but i just based it on google earth so this is like the site documentation so at number one so this is what the paranaki fish port looks like before but now it's under construction so i don't know what will what will it look like in the future i guess so the number one picture i will just zoom in so here it's just like it's a cubicle like um how do you say it a cubicle structure that has connected roofs yeah like that so this is like my site so this is what it looks like without you know like obstruction but because you know they made this as the temporary fish port they put like a lot of tent here and small barrack i will show you like a, a recent picture of what it looks like so yeah so as you can see this is what it looks like i will just gonna paste it here so it's very crowded and it's not pretty in a decent like environment yeah so next is so yeah i will just show you the side section so i tried to really recreate the the site but yeah i tried my best doing this so this is the site i have like a uh, more detailed version next but, but basically they just put like a tent and not like the very end here and part here uh, they just put like a corrugated roof so here is a more detailed look so basically this is how it looks like it it looks nice here but in reality it's not it's really not i mean it's a wet market i mean what will you expect right so yeah so this is it i tried to you know recreate it so yeah so next so i will be presenting now my floor plan so i will be starting at the very top which is the third floor going down because that's how my program works so this is the third floor plan so basically the purpose of this floor is to just have access to this plant pods so i called it plant pods but it's just basically a pot for my pandan so but I will just I will explain it later like the pot itself so this is just an access site to this plant so that they can harvest the leaves and the next is the second floor plan so in the second floor plan this is where all the processing of the leaves from trimming to drying so basically number one this is where the leaf leaves processing area so this is where they will you know after harvesting they this is where they will strip the the leaves because it has thorns yeah it's it's a spiky leaves so they need to remove that and 
cut it accordingly to size. After that, number two, this is, is like a drying area. It has a it has it, it has a detail later. I will explain it. So number three, this is where the harvesting area. So this part is like a balcony, to a balcony where it's like an outdoor space and this like the indoor. So I just put some like a divider to separate the outdoor and indoor. Especially this is a very open structure. So when it's rain, at least. There is a separation between the two. You, I will show you later with the section and elevation. So number four, this is an architectural idea, party, which also I will be explaining later. But basically, the main purpose of this is it serves as a table and also a place. This is where they will drop the processed leaves that is ready to use and will straight go down to the ground floor. And also, it serves as the storage area of the processed leaf. So this is also five. This is a leaf presser. So basically, this is the it's a presser for the leaves to make it soft. But traditionally, they used to pound it. But that kind of like machine is a two-man job. So I tried to create a presser that will also do the same thing like pounding it to make the leaves soft so this is the ground floor yes it's very empty i'm so sorry but this this area is the weaving or weaving area also an open area so this is empty because i want to still you know preserve the way of the weavers do their weaving which is like this is the time where they, you know, do chicas with their amigas, you know, while weaving the bayong. Number two, this is the restroom. Number three is storage. And number four is a seafood market. So I put a seafood, mar seafood market to also use what's in my neighborhood, which is the seafood market. So I have a supplier to supply my seafood market and also to have a to have a direct user for my bayong because bayong is used for markets people who buy in markets so i will provide them bags in you know in my own market too so yeah so this is a roof plan i did my roof is made out of thatch roof so i didn't put the the details because it's too much for my computer so but i reflected it in the section and elevation so you can just check it there no i will show you so this is a ground floor plan on site site development plan and yes this is the site the cross section of my building so basically this is what i'm talking about a while ago like the the pod i call it like a plant pod but it's basically just like it's basically just a pot for the tree <laughs> so i made an arc to because there's a roof like a thatch roof here that will you know when it's rain like all the rain water will go through the plant but with the the slope it will not be it will not drown the plant because the water will just you know go through go through it but if ever the plant is over watered i created like a slope here where it will lead to a drainage here so yeah that's it and this is what 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 i'm saying like the table where they will you know drop the process leaves and will be stored here and when you know someone needs leaves to create bayong yeah they can just access here so no need to you know carry like the process leaves going down the stairs i just you know i created this to have an ease in transporting the product like the materials so this is the long longitudinal section 
So yeah, I'm sorry I didn't detail this part like the seafood market, but basically like I imagined it ha I imagine it like same as like the previous site side section, you know, retaining that rawness in a wet market. So yeah, basically so this ladder this can be slide like left and right this will help like the harvester to reach if ever the plant grew like tall taller so yeah this just helps the harvester to reach the leaves so yeah this is the front elevation just positive you want to look like through it right elevation so this is the pods of the plant like the pot so like the thatch roof like will will redirect the water through the pots and the slope will just you know make the water just goes through it like just slope through it <laughs> I don't know so yeah this is the axonometric view so as you can see it's in a triangular form because i wanted like the slope to i wanted the slope in this form so that when i place the trees it will not be crowded and it will not be crowded for the trees and they will have each space and they will not you know fight over the sunlight yeah so this is the exploded so this is like the structural first floor, second floor, third floor, the ceiling of the third floor, and like the trusses that holds the thatch roof. So next, this is the first architectural idea. So basically this is the replacement for the, for the, for the thing they use to pound the leaves traditionally so i will just show you what a traditional like presser of pandan leaves so the traditional needs to it's a two-man job basically so i tried to create it i tried to recreate it like same purpose same you know like ability to pound and press the leaves but you know make it like more portable and it can it can be used by just one person so in this part so yeah I will explain it this is this is like a screw to lock to lock this roller so that you know you can adjust the pressure or like how tight you will press it you will just lock the two and the leaves will just go through here and this will you know roll to press it and i made this as like a like a foldable table but it's not a table of course yeah to make it more compact yeah, so it can be you know push inside and outside to make this and also you know a movable feet so next is this is the the drop storage and you know releasing area of the process leaves so this like big rectangle part is located at the second floor and this one is located at the ground floor so basically this is where they drop all the processed and ready to use leaves for you know weaving so if we zoomed in so basically it has like a like a cap to just make it seamless and it can be used as a table so when they drop the leaves they can just get you know leaves here this is like the releasing area so when they need to weave and yeah this just so basically the purpose of this is to to create an ease in transporting the transporting the the process slip instead of you know going 
carrying it and you know walking in the stairs why not create this just drop it drop it like so this one is like the drying part because the leaves needs to be dried sun dried so i made like a like an awning roof that's why i use touch material because it's a lightweight and yeah it's lightweight so it's will it will be easy for the user to just move it so here no, i'll just show you like a detail though. so in this part so basically there's like a panel of roof where you can open it and close in an awning mechanism so and i just put some hook to you know a hook for when you need to hook the leaves and dry it so yeah so this is the render of my project so yeah that's it for the plans and illustrations so the rest of this will be just renders of the project so this is like like a view from this angle showing like the touch so this looks like just one but i don't know i it's it has but but yeah this part can can be opened like this yeah another view so this is the like you know to visualize how it will look like when when you know the plant is in that so it's basically just it, it just blend with the roof just like floating and yeah so this is the other view so you can clearly see that the roof really leads if it's rain the roof will really leads the water in the pots and the pots will just you know make it slide through it slide i don't know if that's the right term but yeah but also like i said i said a while ago like there there's like a divider here that will separate this area it's like an other area so it this area can be wet by the rain or i don't know yeah so another view uh, yeah. so this is another view it's just you know in a nice angle next so this is like at the rear view and this is the like a top view top view of it so that you can clearly see the top of the pods the plant pots pods are pot yeah and yeah that's it no no that's this is the interior so because basically i tried to make to make this as wet market as possible but yeah it still looks not you know how a wet market looks like it still look bougie so so this is like the one i didn't reflect at the elevation so basically these are racks that will display all the bayongs so that the buyers or the you know consumer here in the seafood market can see it so maybe they're interested in So next, so this is like a perspective view of the one of the architectural ideas idea. Next, so this is what this is the panel that I'm saying that will separate the outdoor and the indoor. And this is the the drop dropping area, the storage, and this is just like another view of this. So basically this is just a counter for the you know processing of the leaves from stripping the, the thorns cutting it and yeah so a more closer look about the, the divider so yeah this is the another angle to clearly see the pot yeah. uh, what else so yeah this is a much closer look I don't know why I shot this but yeah I will include this 
so yeah this is what it will looks like it will look like so basically the this is like an old tree so it, it it's like around seven meters so I tried to put like an adult tree na to to see what will it look like because and also to predict what you know the size of the pots needs to you know for the plant and yeah that's it for my project yay I'm done